I had arranged this piece for string quartet and for Becca, and it had occurred to me how pretty it would sound to have an orchestra sort of wrapped around her sound and, and the sound of Chad, Chad Eby. And sort of, I sort of imagined just, you know, wrapping the orchestra around them sort of like a warm blanket. The other thing that's important, I suppose, is that I wanted to make a record that both I would like and my wife would really enjoy too. She's not a musician. And if she enjoys it and I enjoy it, I figured maybe I'm onto something then. <laughs> The music is like nothing you've heard. What we have here is just something that's so organic, orchestrally and with a, with a jazz mix. I think it was a really smart idea to record me and Chad in this incredible room with these amazing acoustics. Singing with an orchestra, my voice or my approach is wider. I want to soar over the, the area that I have to cover sonically. You know, I'm pretty accustomed to what you can and can't do in here in a specifically jazz context. But with this context, sort of all bets are off. But to watch Steve and Becca and Bill construct and make the lyrics even more powerful and more poignant and to have more impact, that was really inspiring. Steve is a lot of fun to work with. His personality brings a palpable energy to the room. He is so good at managing the variety of aspects that go into a project. When Steve asked me to do this, before I even knew exactly what it was gonna be, I knew that I was gonna do it because I think he's such a great guy and a great musician. This guy wants to play and make music more than anything in the world, in spite of if there are obstacles in front of him. What's great about Steve Haynes' project is the, uh, the subtleties. Like when we hear it, it drives on our sensitive and our thoughtful life experiences. So I think this, this is going to be an awesome project from several points of view that people can listen to and not, um, they won't be able to put it down for a little while.